Everybody, meet Larry Rand. Larry Rand, everybody. Hi there. Tell me about Pipehenge. Pipehenge. Pipehenge is a daytime astronomy program developed to teach elementary, intermediate level students and high school students more about astronomy. It was developed because astronomy wasn't always taught in the elementary uh, at the primary grades. And a fellow by the name of Eric Jackson, who developed this in Auckland, New Zealand, uh, questioned the boards of education down there about teaching astronomy and their theory was that you couldn't teach astronomy at the school because the students would have to be there at night. Well the question that came up with why and they said well you need the planets, you need the sun, I'm sorry, you need the planets, you need the stars and, <laughs> and you need the moon. Well the belief is that the moon is out during the day, the sun is a star and the earth is a planet. So if that's the only criteria Let's develop Pipehenge to teach daytime astronomy when the students are at the school. A primary objective is also to train teachers to be able to use Pipehenge that are understanding the theories behind astronomy so that they could easily present it to students. So Pipehenge here, this is a portable unit which is made out of aluminum tubing. Uh, this portable unit is uh, built onto protractors so it could be adjusted to any latitude. Primarily it starts out teaching students about direction. Pipe Hench has to be developed and set up on a, north, uh, a true north-south line, which this is set up now. The blue pipe representing the north pole, the red pipe representing the south pole, the east, the eastern pipe, the green pipe there being due east, and the golden pipe being due west. Once the pipe hench is set up, it becomes a teaching tool for teaching direction. There are certain things that occur in the sky in the night sky that only occur in the northern sky and some things that only occur in the southern sky. So when students take daytime astronomy, they can internalize what they've learned during the day and use that information to learn something at night. So we have talked about the fact that it's a compass. We have two major arcs on the pipe end unit. The arcs represent the uh, summer solstice and the winter solstice. If I move over to the eastern sky, this eastern horizon pipe represents the eastern horizon, obviously. And here is sunrise and the path of the sun for our area on the first day of winter. This pipe, this arc, represents nine hours of daylight, approximately, on the first day of winter. Six months later, the sun moves higher in the sky and farther to the north. And this far north of east, the sun rises in the eastern sky, or appears to rise in the eastern sky, and follows a 15-hour path from the eastern sky to the western sky. Students are able to see that on the first day of winter, the arc is very small, and the sun is very low in the sky. Since the arc is so small and only lasts nine hours, they can start to get a sense of the heat that comes in for nine hours during the day, but is lost in 15 hours when the sun sets, creates a very cool planet, part of the planet for us. But six months later, on the first day of summer, we've got 15 hours of daylight, 15 hours of heat and sunlight coming in, warming the Earth. But then, as the sun sets, we only have nine hours of darkness. So 15 hours of heat coming in during the day, or during the daylight hours, and then nine hours of heat escaping, radiating into the atmosphere, there seems to be a lot more heat buildup. So the students get to see the changes in the seasons are based on where the sun is and the amount of sunlight and heat that we're getting. They also get to see that once the sun sets, the sun obviously goes below the horizon and appears in the southern hemisphere. So our first day of summer would be the southern hemisphere's first day of winter. And this would represent the nine hours of winter. So Pipehenge performs a number of different tasks. It represents a full 360 degree compass. We have the horizon, which represents a calendar, six months in each direction. And we have, in addition, a solar clock. The gnomon here represents, uh, uh, the gnomon casts a shadow on the sundial, 
and it's, an, it's a way of demonstrating to students how the earth rotates. There's so much more to it, but basically what we've done here is give a basic introduction on how to teach astronomy and make it what's abstract a lot more concrete. So that's great. You've got a really innovative tool here, a wealth of knowledge for kids of all ages, including me. Uh, I've learned a lot here today, and like you said, there's so much more to it than this. Um, but thank you so much for your time, Larry, and uh, this My product's going to do wonders, I think, for kids. Thank you.